A community leader is crying foul and pointing the finger right now at the Forest Hills public school system. The allegation here, they're misspending taxpayers' money. 24 Hour News H. Brad Edwards looked into whether that's the case. A group of guys meet every Sunday morning between 10 and noon and play soccer. Good job, good day! For those two hours every Sunday morning, we're all the same. At the sun crack of dawn, their differences melt away. I'm from uh, Iran, China. I've uh, been here with other people, different countries. They play on this Forest Hills field every Sunday until... And one guy come in and told us we're not allowed to play there. We were approached um, by a representative of Forest Hills Public Schools. And unfortunately, that person uh, said, you know, it looks like you guys don't belong here. If they wanted to play, they'd have to pay 85 bucks an hour. John Lester said, wait a minute. I thought that these fields were paid for by taxpayer dollars. They are. A millage passed in 2004, a millage to raise nearly 90 million bucks over 20 years. Westrum, an Ada Township trustee and a one-man watchdog, filed a Freedom of Information request wondering, where's that money going? What he found? Baffled. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When you voted for this. Did you expect the money to go towards adult education? Absolutely not. The millage in question in a place that hasn't rejected a money request in decades. The ballot language requests money for the purpose of providing funds for operating a system of public recreation and playgrounds. Parks and rec, right? Now, it depends on how you define recreation. In recent years, millions have been spent on parks and rec, but also community education, nearly 1.8 million in 2006, more than 1.7 million in 2007. Recreation is more than soccer. Give me a specific of what recreation could hypothetically be. I think recreation could be... Could it be my mom uh, taking Spanish classes at night? Certainly. It could be my mom taking Spanish classes at night. Superintendent Dan Beam. And these funds are simply funds that help to pay a portion of those activities. In pro millage flyers, it was explained monies would go for much more than fields like community enrichment classes. Well, I'm sure there, there may be those that are frustrated, but that's what elections are for. And it passed two to one. You can either cut on the expenditure side or you can look to raise additional revenues. They did the latter. The affluent Forest Hills is a donor district, if you will, in the now evened playing field of Proposal A. The type of millage in question passed by other districts, too, is a way to bring in needed revenue. It still doesn't cover all the costs. Does Proposal A force you to do something like this? There are elements of Proposal A that constrain our ability to have revenues match ongoing costs. And at a time when people are questioning government and spending, so is this man. As a trustee of Ada Township and someone who's pledged to look out for the taxpayers, I'm still concerned about how the money's being spent. I think it's misleading. And I think when you, when you mislead people, um, you know, the next time you come to them and you say, hey, we need money for X, they're going to be very suspicious that you may be using it for Y. So he got his FOIA return, his answers, but he still has more questions and a comment. Whether we're local government or whether we're schools, we have to remember a key piece, and that is it's not our money. This is taxpayer money. Brad Edwards, 24-Hour News X. And one footnote to the story, the group that was asked to pay to play soccer on Sundays is being welcomed back to play for free. The district calling the incident a misunderstanding.